Ooh, not my nipple. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Ricky Thompson, and I am going off the rails with Days. Meet your nemesis. <sighs> For you to become my nemesis, you have to be a liar. I hate people who lie, especially to my face. If you lie behind my back, I'm like, okay, hmm. But if you lie to my face, that's a real big issue. If it's my nemesis, I'm not gonna really give too much because I really just don't care. I'm like, if you hate me, that's on you, but I'm gonna look good. You know, when I'm gonna meet my nemesis, I'm not gonna dress up for you. I'm just not gonna do that. Like, that means I care, which I don't, but I still wanna look good. Okay, so I'm rocking a Saint Laurent little tee. These guest pants, I love them so much. So extra. This would definitely get my nemesis mad too. Literally, like why would you show up dressed so amazing? I was like, I don't know. This is just me. Do you have to brush them? Um, right? I would love to know. I'm like, how do y'all clean these? Let me know. Then I have my Saint Laurent sneakers. And I just paired it off like some accessories, some chrome. I'm a silver person. I feel like gold just looks really old on me. And I feel like I just look so youthful and young when I'm rocking silver jewelry. Go to a fashion week fit. That's one thing about fashion week. When you pack for fashion week, make sure you have options. Options, 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 yes. This skirt. And that is my fashion week fit. You know, we have the Ludovic Kiko. We love this little trench moment, love. <sighs> what do I look for in a coat? Something dramatic, you know? I love a dramatic coat or I love a cropped coat that like cuts right here. That's like my go-to. If you know, you know. Ludovic is literally like one of my top favorite brands. Um, I've been wearing him for years. Anytime I do a shoot, I'm like, there has to be a Ludovic look. I just love his clothes so much and I'm just so proud of him. Everything. Ghani top. And I'm rocking this acne skirt. Yes, my Bella Hadid skirt. This skirt is so Bella Hadid. But when I put this on, I feel just like her. I'm rocking this. Brave storm weather. Okay, when this LA weather was rough and the raining was just disgusting, I just stayed inside the whole time. And I had a great time with me, myself, and I. Burr. <laughs> Fendi Beanie. Fendi has been eating up the fashion world right now. Y3 puffer jacket. I'm really obsessed with puffers. Like, honestly, I love me a good puffer. And I'm rocking my Bottega puddle boots. And this is so you know, when it's getting real chilly or if it's raining or snowing or whatever, I'm ready to go. I literally wear my puddle boots all the time. I did bring them out to the pool one time. That was not the cutest look ever. Like I wore them with like a Speedo and they were like, oh my God. But I low-key ate that. Fashion though. <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. Hey. The gym. Oh something I need to do more. I really go to the gym to sightsee because you just like never know who you could see. Just do the workouts that look good enough while you're working out. That's my pointer to you. I'm definitely gonna be wearing like this hoodie. When I go to the gym, I love to be colorful. I always like treat the gym like a little bit of like a fashion runway moment, honestly. Like I try to like look so good because I want to leave there with somebody. Well done. Hoodie. Um, I love this hoodie because it has like this. I don't know what you would call this, but it kind of gives like shoulder pad moment. I would say I really don't have like a favorite color, but black, honestly, I really do. But if I'm going for a color, it'll definitely be like something like this, or maybe a red or like a baby blue or whatever. Anything that complements my skin tone, so. And I have these Nike gym shorts. And then I'm running with my Saint Laurent sneakers. I love that you go to the gym and sell them. Oh, come on, I have to. This thing has pockets. Oh my gosh. Oh, I never noticed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dress to impress. Oh wow. I'm gonna make sure that I have a statement piece. So that is what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Ooh, not my nipple. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is this new jacket I got from Saint Laurent. This is like the part that's so extra. Like these ostrich feathers, really love that. Under this, just all Rick. So Rick, Rick, 
Rick, of course, favorite brand ever. Oh my gosh, I love that Rick is so out there, but also sexy. That's really something I'm really big on right now. Like, I love clothes that make you feel good, look good, and I love showing skin, as you can see. So, Rick, that's why you're my favorite, favorite, favorite brand. Meeting the parents, okay. When I first met my ex's family, we sat there um, for the lunch the whole time and he didn't say a word. I had to make up the full conversation with this family I just met. That was the most nerve wracking moment in my life. But you know, once you meet the parents for the first time, the second time is so much more easier. But that first time, woof, rough. This, it's cute, safe, you know. Parents love that. I will say, when you meet the parents, make sure your outfit is not too crazy. You wanna respect the parents. I learned that the hard way, but um, yeah, I learned my lesson now and... <laughs> oh, introducing yourself to aliens. I do believe in aliens, oh my gosh. There's definitely something up there. I mean, I have to wear this sweater. This does give alien vibes. Amita, all these little dots on it, I feel like it just gives alien. Well, it's different, it's out of this world. So very alien-like. Rick, Rick. I decided to pair with this necklace because it gives very much, ooh, like take me to your leader or something like that. Love it. My first date philosophy when you're dressing up. I will say never give too much because like, you know, I definitely wanna go on a second, third, fourth date. These pants, do little first and then build your way up. I'm gonna do this jacket. I will say the line that I hate on first dates is, tell me about yourself. I hate that question. That question is so disgusting. If you ask me that question, I will literally leave the date. It's just not for me. This and they're gonna do this belt. I feel like a pickup line for me, let's do shots. <laughs> yeah. First date look. Mm hmm. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Popping to the shop. Cute. Little store run. Okay, so when I go out and I'm gonna run an errand, I really don't want anyone to see me. I wanna put this bad boy on. Yeah, with well, this puffer jacket here. I'm gonna do these black pants right here. Very simple. I'm gonna throw on these. And there you have it. My pop to the shop outfit. Yeah. Be painted. I'm gonna bring this top on out. I love how it just drapes on me like this. I love how the mesh is like tight. I feel like nowadays mesh is loose and I hate that. I need like mesh to really just be on my body. Rick skirt and Rick boots, my favorite. I saw it on a mannequin I was like, I need that. And she's like, it's the last one. I said, take it off the mannequins. I want you to cry anytime you walk past it because it's just that beautiful. It would very much be giving a modern day Mona Lisa, simple, clean art. Like I feel like this will look good in a masterpiece, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been me, Ricky Thompson, and this has been Off the Rails with Dave.